hi, and oh no, our string has the word ship in it. What we want to do is to detect whether we have a ship that's stuck in our string. So here we're going to have W be a string over, let's say, the English alphabet, and we want to figure out whether it has the word ship in it. So the way to think about this is to say uh, we have anything that can happen before the occurrence of the word ship, and then the word ship, and then anything can go after that. So we could just write this as uh, sigma star beforehand and sigma star after the fact. So if we wanted a regex for this, let's say, then we can write sigma star ship sigma star. Then what we could, though that's obviously a regex, in order to turn this into uh, an NFA, let's say, then we can just use the standard conversion, which is we're going to have a start state that will loop on everything. So it loops on all A for A in the alphabet. Let's just say the English alphabet. And then we have the letter ship in that order by doing a whole bunch of transitions in the middle, in this case four, because there are four characters. And then at the end, we can have anything after it. So here we're going to have, again, A for A in sigma. But obviously we can't use an NFA in the real world. We want to detect whether our ships are stuck. So let's build a DFA so that we can actually test whether our ships are actually stuck. So what we would need to do then is to say, well, we can actually do something similar to this. So what I'm gonna do in building a DFA is I'm going to have the same states here and I'm still gonna have the S the H, the I, and then the P, and then still having the A for A and Sigma. So the idea here is that at this state, the second one in, that means we have read, read S so far. At the third state, that means we have read SH in that order. This one means that we read SHI, and then here we read SHIP, and then therefore it doesn't matter what we read after the fact. So what we're going to do is we're going to have self loop on the first state is anything that is not S. So um, A for A in sigma uh, set minus the letter S. So every other possible transition here other than S. Then here in this state right here, we're going to have uh, self loop S. Why S here? Because um, this state is representing we just saw S. The last thing that we saw was an S. So if we read another S, well, the last thing we saw was an S. And then if we see anything other than S here, we should go back here because we want to start over again. Uh, I mean, anything other than S and H, because if we see H, we are going to go here, obviously. So I'm going to have a green transition that comes back here, which is A for A in sigma uh, set minus the set S and H. So it's getting a little bit more complicated. Um, so then uh, this state has every single possible transition exactly once, which is good. This state, if it sees anything other than an I, then we need to start over. Because if it sees an S right here, that means that the last thing we saw is SHS, which as far as I can tell is not a ship. So we're going to uh, come back to the beginning on every single uh, possible character other than I. So this is A for A in sigma uh, set minus I. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing right here because if we uh, self loop here, then that means we saw S H I and then maybe some not so nice letters there. Um, but anything other than P, we should come back here. So uh, we're going to have a purple transition, which is gonna be A for A in sigma set minus P. So let's check. So 
This state has every single transition exactly once. There's an S and everything other than S here. This one has an S, an H, and everything other than S and H going back. This one has an I going over here and everything other than I. This one has a P and everything other than P. And then this one has every single thing. And you can verify that this is a correct DFA for figuring out whether there's a ship stuck in your string. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave thoughts about sh stuck ships in your strings in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching and please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.